y'all, it's me, Sam, from Red Vaughn Frog 12. I decided to do a Get Ready With Me video because I haven't been... I haven't had the mojo to film lately. Did you ever get stuck? Get stuck in a little thing every now and then. So let's do this. Let's just get ready. I'm going to hang out and chat with you, see what comes up. Start with my Too Faced... can't see it. Hangover X. That's part of the problem is I've been struggling with my lighting. I'm just going to massage that into my face. Um, natural light from my window over there is a little filtered because it's like under an eave. And I haven't been able to get a lighting lamp that I like. So, anywho. I'm just going to be putting on what I've been wearing a lot lately. So, I'm going to use the uh, Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation, and mine's in Classic Ivory 20. It's going to pump out about three and a half pumps. Dot that along my face. I finally got to watch the second season, or the first season of True Detective, and I was obsessed. I didn't like the second season very much. I'm taking my beauty blender. Just gonna start pouncing this all over. Um, with Vince Vaughn and what's his name, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell was amazing in it, but I wasn't into the storyline like I was with the first season. So I definitely recommend it. True Detective. Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey. down to the base of my neck. So good. I went into a Circle K, uh, uh, like a little corner store, the other day, and this is the makeup I had been wearing, and the little lady said, looked at me and just said, um, are you a makeup artist? I go, yeah, kinda. She goes, cause you look flawless, and I thought, that kind of like, it made me feel really good. When some random person tells you that you look good. Just blending in the... Oh, I'm sorry. Maybelline's Better Skin uh, Concealer. Just pushing that in with the end of my beauty blender. Under my eye area. Sometimes I have to use my finger to get into this like dark abyss of darkness. <laughs> in other news, my son is officially graduated from boot camp. Um, his father got to go see him in Great Lakes, Illinois. I was unable to attend the graduation, but I got lots of photos. And so now my son has a new cell phone and a new laptop so we can communicate a lot more. He did have me mail him out um, his Xbox controller. Just shaking out my elf high definition under eye setting powder. And this literally is the way I put my makeup on in order as we go. <laughs> I'm just going to press that under my eyes, set that concealer. Don't stick yourself in the eye though. Don't do it. I'm so proud of him. He did so good. He did so good. It's such a hard thing, you know. Can't even imagine going through boot camp. Taking an e.l.f. contouring kabuki brush and my MAC uh, Studio Fix powder in NW25. Slightly darker than my skin, but I've been liking that to keep balance with my neck. As you can see, it kind of balances out the color. And it's a beautiful powder. It sets me makeup beautifully. Hard to talk when you're pattering your face. Do, 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 do. All right, set, set it and forget it. Is that a Ron Papil thing, isn't that? Um, Ron Papil, who does the like uh, rotisserie ovens and as seen on TV appliances. Do you guys remember that? Taking my Smash Boss Brow Tech and Taupe. It's old and dirty and I don't love it. I used to use the wax side as you can see. This is more of a blondie shade and I've been wearing my eyebrows lightly 
slightly lighter this summer. Everyone's already talking about fall. Let's see here in Phoenix, Arizona, we don't get a fall. We get summer and a little bit of winter. Even our spring is summer. Isn't that sad? Don't you feel sad for me? So sad! Just using uh, Real Techniques um, angled eyebrow brush. It's nice and large so it gets a lot of real estate quite quickly for me. And as you see, I have quite full eyebrows, naturally. I just like to make them more of a statement and add to my personality. <laughs> it's probably true. That was a show on Nickelodeon a long time ago. I'm going to uh, set that with some Milani eyebrow gel. Just to make sure all the hairs go in the right direction. Today I'm going to head out and do some errands. Yesterday I spent quite a bit of time going to BevMo, which is a bev beverage company that sells wine, beer, spirits, and soda pop. Taking some Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. We're not being brand specific today, we're all over. And just smear that over my eyelid. And I picked up 30 bottles. 30 separate types of weird soda pops um, because my husband has been into trying out new soda pops last night he tried sweet corn I love corn not as a soda it tasted like bubbly cream corn yeah kind of gross right yeah and it stayed with you <laughs> it was cream corn for a while he also tried out bacon bacon soda um, this, I've been in love with this palette here. This is the Tartlet palette. I have been in love with this palette. I can't even tell you how much I've been in love with this palette. He had bacon soda and it was disgusting. Those two got poured out. I'm taking Super Mom and pressing that. If you can get your hands on this palette, do it. Because it is so wearable. So wearable. And that just kind of goes under my eyebrow and down into my hooded crease a little bit. I'm going to take a, uh, two, is this a 238? Doesn't matter. MAC. And I'm going to put Super Mom on my lid as well. To lighten up that space a lot. Super Mom is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see it? This is my favorite Tarte palette of all the Tarte palettes I have. And I have quite a few of those. Okay, taking a Sephora fluffy brush, I'm going to take Wanderer. And on the flat side of it, I flipped it over. And that way I have the ability to push my crease up. Just use gentle, gentle strokes. It's so beautifully pigmented and creamy. I just love this palette. I'm so glad I ended up getting it. I wasn't going to get it because normally I'm not into matte shadows. But apparently I like them when they perform well. Matte shadows when they perform well are wonderful. Um, we also had celery soda, which I like celery soda actually. It's crisp and refreshing and has a little bit of a lemongrass taste to it. We used to have a store called the Soda Pop Shop. And they had sodas from everywhere. And it's hard to find sodas from everywhere, so... Um, and then I'm going to take a little bit on the other side of the brush of Power Player. Just to deepen right here into the center of my crease and pull it over my eyelid. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I'm trying to get my mojo. Get my mojo back. Waiting on my Ipsy bag. I have an order from Sephora coming in. Since I'm VIB Rouge, I got to hit the flash sale for, um... What do you call it? Just taking a blending brush, another 239. Soften that edge. Too Faced had a limited edition palette with the flat side of this one. Take a little bit of the black that's called Fashionista. Just a touch on the edge of my eyeball. Um, and it's a palette that had blush, highlighters, eyeshadow. It looked really cute. 
I can't wait to show it to you when I get it. I also got a small haul coming up for y'all. Or I might have already done it. Depends on what order I upload each video. I think I'm going to film a couple today. It's been a while. I feel like I've neglected you, my friends. I'm going to take um, the tip of this brush and take a little bit of Wanderer and go right under my eye. Lash line. Just to soften. See how that just like softened my eye? Alright, love that palette. Mm, get, get yourself one. I definitely recommend. Definitely. Take some eyeliner from Physicians Formula. This is the um, eye booster and I really like it. You see me? Trying to get a nice thin line. That was nice. This is the hard eye. This one's harder because I'm right handed. That's good. I'm do a small wing. More of a flick on me. Wings. Good eyeliner. Definitely recommend that eyeliner. Definitely. For mascara, we're going to use Benefits Roller Lash. Great mascara. Don't even have to curl my lashes with it. It's not all high end today, is it? No. It's not all high end. I used uh, Maybelline Foundation. That's not high end. Lash. Lash! Did you guys ever watch Flash, uh, Gordon? Not the old one, the newer one from the 80s. God, that was a goofy movie. But I liked it, because I'm goofy. Does anyone else blink into their mascara when they put it on? Do a little bit of lash under here. A little bit of hue. A smidge on my eyebrow. Another smidge. <clears throat> Alright, so then I have this Sephora Pantone Universe Shimmery Marsala Cheek Trio. <laughs> Didn't realize I like this one as much as I do, but it's it's a lovely, lovely thing. I'm gonna take the blush and just tap my bristles into it and then Ah, oh, isn't that pretty? I'm really glad I picked this one up. I didn't get the eyeshadow palette, but I got the blush palette because I thought Marsala would be pretty as a blush and I, I was right. Then I'm going to take a contour brush from Real Techniques and the shimmery side and rub it on my nose because I like that part to glow. And right here at the top of my cheek, it's like rubbing a Q-tip over your face. Speaking of Q-tip. I'm going to use Revlon's Butter Color Burst Lip Butter in 030 Fig Jam. I like it because it's shiny. Mwah. There you go. <laughs> that was usually hanging out with me, putting my makeup on like I know I would do. Nothing really exotic today, just a nice classic look. As you can see, I just built up the corners a little bit and blended it. A little liner, blush, lipstick. Makeup can be fun and makeup can be easy. That was easy for me, so. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me while I ramble. I will be back uh, with a few more videos and um, give me some ideas on what you might want to watch because sometimes I get a little blocked. <laughs> Anywho, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. It ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun. Bye.